Hi, it's Kayhawks Brandon Corlin. Welcome to Pet of the Week. We got Preston with the Cedar Valley Humane Society here with us, and we also have Lizzie here with us. If there were outtakes to this video, all you would see would be people playing with a puppy. That was the first 20 minutes before we filmed this video. It was just everybody playing with the dog. Where are you going? Tell, tell us about Lizzie. <laughs> yeah, Lizzie is a year and two month old Cocker Spaniel. Uh, hasn't been with us for more than 24 hours. Wow. Super good dog. Uh, just really is looking for someone to give her some love and some attention. Um, I'm doing that right now. Great dog. The only thing you really need to know about this breed is you would need to groom the dog instead of just wash it. Uh, it needs to have haircuts essentially. Um, otherwise the only kind of scary thing sometimes is dogs like this that have fur on the underside of their ear are prone to ear infections, but it's super easy to maintain as long as you give them, when you give them a bath to dry it off, okay. it won't be a problem. Otherwise if they do get an ear infection, it, it's like a $5 cream from your bed and it will clear it up. All right, now we don't anticipate Lizzie being around long, but no. if you want to adopt a dog like Lizzie or any of, any of the other animals you have at the Cedar Valley Humane Society, what do folks need to do? Yeah, so you can come out to the shelter and fill out an application. Uh, if you want to see other dogs, other cats, you can go to our website, cvhumane.org, and those are updated as soon as they come in or leave the shelter. Uh, socialization with animals, uh, acclimating them to society, how, how is that done and what are some tips you can use? Yeah, you know, it's super important, especially with dogs. If you're going to take them to the dog park, take them out in public, that sort of thing, it's all about consistency really and just making sure they go on a regular basis and start them when they're young if possible so that uh, you know when they're out in public for example if a bus goes by it's very loud that can be scary if they've never seen that before uh, but if they see it regularly it's really not a big deal same with you know other people new people are good because otherwise when uh, new folks come over to your house they're going to go nuts they might be aggressive if they don't know who they are if they're not used to it so it's just really important um, we hold events pretty frequently uh, for kind of dog socialization um, we have one coming up uh, actually this weekend, which is awesome. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's just uh, really important to make sure that they get around things that aren't in the normal environment in their house. People just expect their dogs to behave immediately yeah. when they go out in public, and yeah. it's a learned behavior. Yeah, it's learned. You gotta, you gotta take them out, and it's all about positive reinforcement. You see something new, oh, it's okay, it's really not a problem, good girl, good boy. It's consistency is what it comes down to, just like all training. Well, Preston, thanks for coming in and, uh, and introducing us to Lizzie. Make sure, if you're interested, get to the Cedar Valley Humane Society. There are all kinds of other great animals for adoption out there as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching Hawk's Pet of the Week. Make sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel.